Good day guys and welcome back to another video. So we just left our hotel and we took a taxi to the train station and we are now on our way to Saigon. <music> First day in, ha uh, in Hanoi, in Saigon. <laughs> My God, I'm already lost. First day in Saigon. After spending eight hours in a train yesterday, and we are staying in this hotel called the Sunrise Hotel, which is located in District One. There is different district in uh, in Saigon, and the hotel is thirty dollars per night. Most of Vietnamese are very active in the morning and you have all sorts of gym equipment that you can use for free in the park. Yom. Yom. My name is Roman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Yom. This is my father. Oh, really? My father, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. My father don't speak English. Okay, I, I will talk to you. I right? will explain to him okay. after. Okay, uh, let, let me tell you what. And here we call it a food badminton, and this is a very, very popular in Vietnam. Yeah. And this is the only Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, really? Okay. And this is for the beginner, and that is for professional. Actually, what different between of them, right? And the beginner, the plastic, look at the plastic. The plastic light for fresh and heavier. So for fresh and go faster, stronger, and more spring. If you're a beginner, I will show you something for the beginner. You can kick like this. Take on the top of your foot. And the inside of your foot, right? Yeah. And they are the basic. Basic. And then, if you are professional, you can get more skill. For example, kick like this. Number four. The sole of your foot. Okay? Second, in the chicken wing, in the outside of your foot. And you give your father a camera, right? All right. You make sure say, oh, I saw him. Film. Film. Oh, uh, film. Film. oh, You take a feet of him, right? Yeah. Yeah. You move here. You move to left. You take left foot or right foot? Always inside. Always inside. The line. You kick it. Kick it. Seven. Yeah, because I am a YouTuber, I'll give you my card after. Okay, you, yeah. you can give me a question. I will answer you, right? Give me so a question. Young is playing in the what is the name of the park? Tarang right? Park. Tarang Park every day. Yes. Every day. And if you want to practice with uh, with Young, you can come to this park. And when, yeah. when are you here? Yeah, and we are, time, yeah, and we are also ready in the morning from 8:30 a.m. until 10 a.m. In the afternoon from 3 p.m. to 7. Unfortunately, they are rebuilding the, the cathedral, so we cannot see it uh, very well. Let me show you. So the cathedral was built from 1863 to 1880, and at first it was called the Church of Saigon. And only in 1959, they renamed it the Notre Dame uh, Cathedral. I don't know if you can hear the music, but it's really weird to be in Vietnam and to hear this kind of music on the street. Listen. It looks 
like Aventura. I love this kind of music as I spent almost four years in Spain. So Tanto Market is one of the earlier surviving structure in Saigon. It was built in 1912 by the French and has an area of 13,000 meters square and it's open every day so we're probably gonna go back to the to the market another day we're gonna be spending 10 days in Saigon so there's plenty time and we're gonna consecrate one day just for shopping so we just walked about uh, three kilometers from our hotel and to go to the school where 20 years ago my parents stayed while adopting my uh, little sister in Vietnam they also, we also try to meet the, the person that was in charge at this time and unfortunately this person passed away last year Day number 3 in Saigon and today we are at the old post office which they turn it into a souvenir shop for, for tourists and if you ask my opinion I think that's a little bit sad because this post office was amazing and very very beautiful and it's a bit sad that they turn it into a, a souvenir shop for, for tourists so today is also a very very special day because my dad is going to meet his friend that he met 22 years ago I think so we're going to meet him right in front of the cathedral at 9 a.m. My dad is very, very emotional as he met his two friends that he didn't see for the past 22 years and he even cried <laughs> so we just just had lunch and now we are on our way to the sky deck 178 meters high Saigon to Sky Deck has been com completed in 2010. It's 262 meters height, and if you look closely, it looks like a lotus shape. So you can even use the binocular for free, and they give you one bottle of water. So next stop on the list, we go into Nguyen Van Bin. Sorry again if I pronounce it wrong. And this street in Saigon is very, very famous for bookstores. Yeah. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought they will have books in English, but all the books are in Vietnamese. <laughs> Won't be able to buy any books today. It's five o'clock guys and the last stop of today is called Little Japan. I didn't even know they had a little Japan street in Saigon. Let's have a look. Just arrived in a Little Japan and it's filled with um, Japanese restaurant is filled with hotels and spa. I think that I've never seen that much spa in my life in Saiga. Hey! Hey! Spa doesn't look very genuine to me and I think they do a little bit more than just giving you a massage. They scream at me when I start filming the, the massage. Hi right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this little video with us. And if you have not subscribed yet, 
do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. See you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.